All right, guys, you're at that plateau. You're not losing body fat. You're not losing body weight. You've hit a plateau. Now, how do you break that cycle? So today I'm gonna to provide you with some tips on how to break that plateau, how to break that cycle. Hey, fit friends, my name is Mary. I'm a health and fitness coach, and I've been coaching for about three years now. Myself and my team, we've gone through the pla those plateaus, and we've helped several people start a health and fitness program break the plateaus and lose a total of 1200 pounds so go team all right have you had that point where you're just like working out working out working out you've burned a lot of calories you're losing a lot of weight and then all of a sudden it like comes to a screeching halt and your pants you know are fitting the same the scale isn't moving it might even actually be going up and you're still working your booty booty off and it's just like you're like what is going on I started a program I lost a ton of weight and now the scale will not budge all right so two things if the scales not budging did you take your body measurement did you actually measure your body because guys over and over again this is what I see people lose a lot of weight on the scale but they never took their body measurements or their photographs so they can't physically see themselves losing weight but they are they're losing inches they're losing that body fat just is like falling off of them but they're like the scale isn't moving though so number one tip I always tell people you must you must take your before pictures before you start a workout program take your before pictures and get the little measurement tape do your arms do your waist do your chest your thighs, your calves, your hips, okay? Take those measurements because the scale might not be moving, but the inches might be falling off. But hey, you might still, you know, not, might not be losing weight on the scale and your body measurements might not be shrinking. You're not crazy, okay? So your body is designed to not work insanely hard. Your body is actually designed to survive. Your body is always in survival mode, that flight or fight mode, right? It says, I need to stay alive for you, okay? I cannot let you die because you were on this earth to survive. So what happens when you're working out super hard and you hit a plateau and your body says, no more, I want you to survive, then your um, metabolic rate slows down and that's what causes your plateau. And then what happens, your body starts using your muscle as fuel. So instead of burning body fat and losing the weight, what happens is it starts using your muscles you, because there's fat in, stored in your muscles and it'll start using that as fuel instead of your body fat. So your body was used to burning a lot of calories and then it started adapting and slowing down. And then it says, I know what you're doing to me. I know what you're doing to me. I need to save energy, so I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and I'm not gonna lose any more weight. That's so not fair, body. So how do you break that plateau, all right? You wanna be like, mm, F you, body. I'm gonna hit my goal and this is what I'm gonna do. So how do you do it, right? All right, I'm gonna tell you, and it's really simple, but you just gotta do it. You gotta do something different. You gotta trick your body and say, I'm going to, I've never swam before, so this has happened to me. I started swimming, and oh my God, I could eat like 50 pancakes after a swim because I had burned a lot of calories, and then I was losing more body fat, and um, it was just something my body was not completely, was not used to doing. Or you could do, if you're a runner, start speed training one or two days a week. So you're doing like an interval. You're say going for a six mile per hour run for a minute then you spike it up to nine miles per hour for two minutes then go back down or you could do a ladder do like a uh, quarter mile slow quarter mile fast half mile slow half mile fast switch it up so that your body doesn't get used to um it it doesn't get used to what's going on so it doesn't the, your mind will say oh i need to save energy because i know what she's doing Unfortunately, it's not going to know what you're doing because you're switching it up. Uh, you could lift really heavy weights. So I just got done doing a program where it was weights every single day for 60 days. 
there was one rest rest day every week but the more the program went on and I noticed myself not getting sore I would up my weights like I was starting to do bench ups where I walk up on a bench with 20 pounds in each hand so a total of 40 pounds and the next day I'd be sore so I knew I was tricking my body into saying oh my body wasn't wasn't recognizing what I was doing so I started switching things up and in the end you know um, at least keeping my body fat maintained I'm not at the point where I want to lose weight but I'm not my body's not gaining weight either so you can pick a program that uses heavy weights or add weights if you're not using anything um, try doing a different activity than you're used to or try changing up the activity that you're so used to doing like running and adding speed training so you know when you're ready to start doing something different if you doing been doing the same thing over and over again which I don't recommend anyways because the same repetition may cause injuries but if you're used to doing the same thing over and over again you know it's time to start doing something different listen to your body trust the prog process and just go for it all right so if you need some recommendations or a solution on what you should get started with next I have several solutions that I can help um, provide you with I just need to know a little bit about you and I will help make some recommendations for something that's super simple to get started with all right guys take care give me a thumbs up comment below I'd love to hear from you I'll chat at you later peace out